What's up? Econ John here. In this video, we're going to talk about Gorman Polar Form. Let's go. What is Gorman Form? Gorman Polar Form is a way to represent aggregate demand for multiple goods by way of a representative's consumer's indirect utility function. For an individual consumer I, his indirect utility function is a Gorman Form if it could be defined as V as a function of P and M is equal to A as a function of P plus B as a function of P times income M, where A of P and M is unique to consumer I and B as a function of P is the same for all consumers. Gorman form is useful because it allows us to derive the demand for any good J for every consumer I. All our demands from the specification will be of the form of X as a function of P and M, which is for consumer I and good J, is equal to alpha as a function of P plus beta times income M, where alpha and beta are both derived using Roy's identity. It follows that the aggregate demand for a good J is defined as the summation of all of our alphas in our system for every consumer for good J plus beta. Notice how there's only one beta over here because it's the same for every consumer times the summation of all the income from every consumer in our system. It follows that the representative consumers or aggregate indirect utility function is V as a function of prices P and M is equal to the summation of all the A of P terms for, from every consumer plus B of P, only one of them, times the summation of all the income from every consumer. This could also be written as capital A as a function of prices P plus capital B as a function of prices P times the summation of all the income M, which is written as capital M. It should be noted that Gorman form is the most general form of indirect utility function that allows for aggregation of demands. So that's a unique property of Gorman form. Just some additional notes on Gorman form. Gorman form is a fine in income, meaning that the second derivative of our indirect utility function with respect to income is equivalent to zero. This implies a constant marginal propensity to consume of B of P and a straight angle curves and income expansion paths. Examples of Gorman polar form are quasi-linear preferences and homothetic preferences over here as listed on the slide. So that's a quick overview of what Gorman form is, and I hope this helps.